Hi, welcome to The Citizen. My name is Kevin, and you're here watching the craft cocktail movement on WorcesterScene.com. Hi, today I've chosen to do the Widow's Kiss. Um, this is a recipe from a place in New York City called the Holland House. The recipe comes from 1895 from a gentleman who tended bar there named George Kapler. It consists of three of my favorite liquors, which is brandy, chartreuse, and benedictine. All older liquors, this one coming from France made out of apples, this one being an herbal liquor, and this one being a benedictine brandy that, again, secret recipe prevails. Um, so we'll get started for it. I'm gonna take the shaker tin. We're gonna start with the Calvados first, which is gonna be the meat of this drink. It's gonna be the strongest flavor that comes out of it. And we're gonna do about an ounce and a half according to George's recipe. The next one we're gonna do is the chartreuse. This can be pretty potent. We're doing the yellow today, which is probably gonna make it t taste a little bit better and not as strong as say it would be with the green chartreuse, which is higher in proof and a little bit more robust in flavor. We're gonna do about three-fourths of an ounce on that one. It seems like a lot, but it really, it really does well at the end product. Now we're gonna do three-fourths of the Benedictine. Benedictine can sometimes be a little bit sweet, which will be nice because it will offset the sharpness in the herbal flavoring from the chartreuse. And then to top it off, we're gonna do a couple dashes of bitters. Again, another herbal recipe that's really gonna bring out a lot of the flavors that will be in there with um, the, the subtle citrus from the chartreuse. Here I'm gonna top it off with as much ice as I possibly can because I'm gonna shake the ever living stuff out of it. You don't have to make the faces that I make when you're making drinks. We're actually gonna strain this probably twice just to keep sure that we get a lot of those big ice chunks out of the drink so we don't water it down. To top this off, the original recipe said a sprig of mint, so I'll put it right on top. And that's the widow's kiss. Thanks for joining us at The Citizen today for the craft cocktail movement. My name is Kevin. We'll see you next time.